Welcome back to another episode of We Are in the Middle of a Battle and we have to convince um, yeah, a drummer, a war troll and a siege troll to be part of our little squad. So let's do this, shall we? Um, let's start with, uh, uh, who's this? Moonskin Troll Tamer. Uh, no, War Troll Tamers. Ah, okay. Oh, you're not talking to the trolls, you're talking to the tamers of the trolls. Okay. So these things are like, uh... Yeah, animals, basically. Yes. They uh, have to be tamed. Interesting. So let's talk to Karesh, whoever Dar. that is. Zalraka. Koresh? Yes, Gore. I'm back. But I guess now is not the time for conversation. I heard he... what happened. The Ash Reaver. This purity of light. Kagan. I want uh, help. Okay. This guy looks like a human and not like an orc. So you're a troll tamer now. That's a story for another time. Look at that. For now, let's concentrate on the fighting. That's an orc? That's a human. Hmm. Okay, now I convinced them just like that. Perfect. So, uh, the Fleshkin chieftain. That must be the, uh, the drama dude. So, you're the infamous Taha. Huh. Not what I expected. Who are you? Zugan, Zalrakatahar. We're fire wielders too, but we were out on an expedition for the past moon. Uh huh. Seems that we got back just in time. Uh, expedition for what? Expedition? Doesn't matter. Well, good timing. You should join the fight. I can't wait. Just like that. Huh. <laughs> they were just on tour, having some music. All right, uh, and what about this guy? Are you High Chieftain Gore's pale skin? Probably. Who are you? Keshtar from the Fleshkin tribe. Hmm. We were near and heard the sounds of the battle. Those white soldiers you're fighting, they are our enemies too. We want to help. Sal Raka, Kesh. Yes, your help is more than welcome. But you should know the purity is an only. The Ash Reavers, I know. And I also know the only reason for this battle is Kagan's hatred. We will help you. Everybody seems to be on one page here, which is weird. Okay. So, where do I see the advanced units? Uh, yeah, advanced units can't be summoned from here. That's the shaman thingy. Um, yeah, it's the Bloodforge. Okay. Hmm. The th uh, it's a bit of a problem here now. Like... The, the icons aren't at the place uh, where you would think they are. Like, this is the war pit. It creates units. It is in the center. Uh, then, like, you have the farm. Okay. You have logging cabinet, wood. You have hunting cabinet, um, food. And you have even more food for the fishery. On the next page, you have at least the fishery. Or at the previous fishery location, you have the farm. And then uh, the first two are for the additional resource that you get at this point. It's iron. So iron mine, iron smelter. Black ash harvester, shaman hut. So the thing that turns the uh, black ash into the black ash powder. Same thing. It's It behaves the same, which is great. Makes sense. Uh, the Warforge is the thing that upgrades. It's somewhere down here. Okay. I don't really uh, get it, but uh, but it's okay. So, and then you have the Stoneworks as the additional resource, kind of, that's here. Like, yeah, wood, Stoneworks, then you have some food up there, then you have the War Pit and the Watchtower. The Watchtower is actually one of those special buildings. Um, then you have the Warforge up here, and then... You have the Tribe Totem. So for every page in here, you have one special building. Tribe Totem, Warforge, Watchtower. And the, the location where the War Pit is, I would say uh, this is where the uh, Blood Forge also has to be. Like somewhere here in the center also. Just so like there, there is a certain reasoning behind it. Okay. Do I uh, already have the Blood... Forge somewhere? Maybe it's built already and I just don't know it yet. Nah, who knows. 
whatever. It's not that important. Um, I just want to check it out, open it up, and see what happens. So the war troll just does blunt damage, a lot of it. Not that much resistance against magic, though. It's interesting. The siege troll, of course. Wow, look at the damage. Building completed. It's not called the siege troll for no reason. Also, they look like those uh, orcs from <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, and all orc shamans is the same icon as uh, gore cast fire spells that deal heavy elemental damage and set the ground aflame. Ooh, that's good Then in that there are of course these two huh, Now what about the war pit? Uh, the war pit does not seem to upgrade the uh, special units. I don't know why do you have to get the upgrades like you Ah, there's one more. It might be the Titan that's the last one. Alright, so this is the research. Interesting. So research is only in connection to the standard units in the pit. So these you can upgrade, uh, but the special units are just special in and on themselves. Interesting. There are no upgrades for higher level units. Maybe it's there to make every unit kind of viable somehow. Mm -hmm. Like, look at the damage 14. That's absolutely nothing. The only thing. Wait a minute. Um, so there are units and squatters too. So every time you call them, <laughs> you get two of those. That means you get 28 damage for every time you call the Warp Riders. Whereas, yes. what do we got here? Uh, this is Gore. Damn it, there's no other Shaman in here, is there? Also, he said something about the drummers, didn't he? Orcus Drummer applies haste into Neva ally. Where do we get the drummers? Ah! There. Uh, stupid. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Where do I get siege trolls? Let's make this quick. Like I have a orcish shaman, I get a war troll, and I have orcish drummers. But where do I get siege trolls? Like these guys. Wait a minute. Am I just blind? Like I saw them, right? Orcus siege. Yeah. You can get the siege troll from somewhere. I just. Uh, I don't know where exactly. Okay, Okashanda Ravager. Da, 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 da. It's not from these buildings. It's also not from the Shaman Hut. Logging cabinet doesn't work. Stone worker doesn't work. The watchtower also doesn't call them. Ah, there we go. Uh, ah, interesting. So the War Forge is also a construction building. So the Orcish Siege Troll, because it's not that special uh, of a unit, has to be summoned from here, from the Wolf Forge. Very interesting. Frost Rocks that deal massive damage to enemy buildings and set the ground aflame. Similar to the Shamans, instead against buildings and stuff. Very, very interesting. So this is where the Siege Units can be found. Like, these Units come from the Wolf Forge, uh, and every other unit comes from the War Pit. Uh, and the easy units come from the main building or the outposts. Uh, and then you have your special units which come from the Blood Forge. It's really spread out, but okay. Applies haste to nearby allied units. Also slows enemy units down a little bit. This does not look like a drummer, to be honest. Make up your mind. Because of this uh, skull thingy that he's carrying. <laughs> he just has a nice drum. Anyway, so... Already taking an awful lot of time here, just uh, talking about some interesting units and stuff. Um, but yeah, it, it, it has... Uh, it is very interesting. That's just what I can say about it. So... Uh, there's not that much iron in the vicinity anymore, so How many more iron harvesters are there? Not that many. Mm, what about this one? Da da da. Uh, there's an iron mine with still decent amount of iron. Stoneworks 
Still is going strong. Wood is going strong. Watchtower is going strong. Uh, yeah, but then there's basically nothing. Oh, wait. Uh, I could put a farm up here. Mm, if you don't know what to do, put a farm there. Bam, farm. Same thing uh, goes for this one, is it? I think I could get some fish or some uh, some iron, actually. Or do we have other stuff? Maybe a black ash? No. Yeah, I can get some iron out of this. So, two carriers that should be okay. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, that one has to be upgraded. The logging cabinet needs people in it. Same goes for the hunter. Bam. What do you want? Alrighty. So there are apps. Let's hope we are not getting attacked. Oh, if this is a trap, I'm so screwed. Uh Returns. Yes, you kill the pale skins, so doesn't change a thing, Gore. Your horde won't like that. Oh, really? Hmm. You have any idea what I did to be here, Gore? They may respect you now, yes, but they won't dare to refuse an order. Wait a minute. I have to, ah, this is where the chest is. Hmm. I said it before, and I'll say it again. I'll have your goddamn head on a pike. Now get back to your cow. We'll settle this on the battlefield. No. There's been enough orc bloodshed. This ends here and now. You want to challenge me? Here? In my own camp? I'm in slotting like a fucking pig. I'll do it for them. Gore, what, what are you doing? Put that knife away, now! No. Remember when you asked me how I could just go on, Kagan? Hmm. I can't. But I did it. Because it was what she would have wanted. Damn it, that Kagan dude is huge. But it seems that the only way I can make you believe me is by doing what I wanted to do all along the way. End it. Once and for all. I'm sorry, Tahar. Uh. Okay, killing yourself won't bring her back to life. Killing yourself won't bring her back to life. You know that, right? It's not about that. I hope it. Stop! Are you deaf? I said stop! I believe you, damn it! I believe you! <sighs> but that doesn't mean I forgive you. I never want to see your face again, Gore. You hear me? Never. You won't. I... I need to go now. Away from here. Away, away from this fucking wasteland. Do what you want to my tribe. I don't care anymore. Strength, wisdom, it's all bullshit. Zarek hmm. doesn't care about us. None of the Guardians do. And now they're gone. White Robe's got at least that much right. Zarek, Gore. May you find your peace. That was, uh... Interesting. Huh. Yes. As you want. And there he goes. Oh, this must be the Ash Reaver guy. Uh, uh the Low Chieftain. So we got the High Chieftain already. Ah, uh, there we go. Please get triggered. Nice. Alright, now where is that bloody chest? Uh, what is this? Is this uh, resources? Could be food. Uh, yeah, it's food. Hey, one food. Isn't that great? There's probably some more food in this chest down here. Building completed. No, it's a, a hexing armor. Each enemy attacking you has a chance to be afflicted by bleed, impair, weakened, and silence at the same time. It's a nice one. Also has decent resistances. Pretty sweet. All right. Uh, do we have? Let's see. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe. Yeah, I do have to look around a little bit more. Um, it could be. This is where the entrance was, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I tried to get up here, but it was closed. So, it could be that there is one dead body up here, uh, glowing, and probably in a possession of one of those special 
objects, artifacts, whatever. But I always need... No, okay, it doesn't seem to be. Uh, too many buildings up here, it just mm. gets difficult to figure out where everything is. Like, look at it. There's too much shadow getting drawn. You cannot look behind buildings. That's one of the nice ways to hide yourself, your units and everything. Just put a building in there uh, and use it as some kind of a wall that prevents enemy vision. Like a multiplier it might be a really good idea, like a building that has very, very high defense uh, of a lot of um, yes. HP and stuff. That could help you a lot. So let's check out uh, that north a little bit further. Almost. Any second now. Any second now. And I thought I... Ooh, look at that. For some reason, uh, I just got control over this entire area. I don't know what's happening here. Uh, do I just... Uh, the hunter cabin, this thingy. Okay, so there are. Ah, no, wait a minute. I just. Okay, I don't get it. Why is. Why are some of those outposts uh, taken now? Anything on your mind? Like, some of them uh, I have in my possession, and some of them I don't. That's weird. A fine plan. That way. All right. It's the ones in the center that I seem to have lost. Weird. Why is it these? Why do I get all of the sectors except for this one down here? Come on. Uh, anyway, uh, let's talk to this uh, Ash now Raver here. Look at that. Barak. What? What happened? Where did he go? Well, he just needs some alone time. He won't be coming back. You'll follow the fire wielders now. Careful, Gore. We respect you, but that doesn't... You have three options. Hmm. Number one, fight us here and die. Number two, stay on your own and get overrun by the purity. Because believe me, they will be back. And we won't be there to save you. Or number three, join forces with us and become part of the biggest horde this land has seen for centuries. The choice is yours. <sighs> I can't make that decision alone. Go back to your cow, Gore of the Fire Wielders. We will inform you of our decision. Do you think they'll join us? Yeah, they will. Good. Then let's get back to our cow and wait for their decision. Okay, now we have to go back to the cal again. Like, what is going on? Go back to the cal, go back here, go back to the cal, go back there. It feels as if they're going to attack me uh, again. But anyway. Let's see. Or well, maybe this is just what you have to do in order to trigger the cutscene. Reavers. Ooh. The battle is over. Oh, and I also have lost control over all of the units, but I did some nice level up. Perfect. Not only did Gore show strength by destroying the White Robed, he also showed wisdom by convincing your chieftain, Kagan of the Ash Reavers, to end this battle before more of our kin died. He made you an offer, and you accepted. For now, we will follow the pale-skinned name Tahar in his fight against the white-robed heretics who renounce Zarek and the Guardians, and who want to bring an end to our people. Afterwards, our army will roam the mountains of Bargagor like no other tribe ever did before. Stronger than the Fleshkins, stronger than the Moonskin, stronger than the Mudfangs. 
A people united in strength and wisdom alike. The Ash Reavers and the Fire Wielders united. I never thought I'd live to see the day. You don't sound too happy. Hmm. Oh, I am. I just feel strange. All this, I, I never imagined I'd one day be a leader. I only did what was necessary. And now, here I am. Yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> uh, but you do deserve it. You deserve it. Yeah, maybe. Well, let's head back to Mullendir. We can talk there if you want to. Nice. Alright, so what do we have as a reward? Potion of empowerment and the potion of proficiency. Um, yeah. This potion was originally yada yada yada. Um, which one was which? Um, yeah, attributes. That's the strength uh, and whatever. And then you have your... This other thing that gets upgraded. Ability points. There we go. Uh, now there's just the big question. What are you going to upgrade? Because... The attribute points are really cool. Ability points, you just get bunches and bunches of them. No matter what. Uh, but yeah, attribute points. But at the same time, I want to get those passives, those auras upgraded. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, so. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I want to put this one point into a nice ability. I just don't know which one. Maybe the perk in here. Uh, for this one. Because it's really cool. Ah, that's the siege damage changer. Oh, this Rolly thing is just so great. You don't need siege units at all. You just need strong ones and then you turn on Rolly and then BAM! Whole thing done. You don't even need to upgrade uh, or get any siege upgrades on the talents themselves. Like those... Uh, where is it? Siege upgrades. Siege upgrades. Uh, like this spell. Damn it! I do have Earthquake, but I never used it. How stupid am I? <laughs> oh. That is so weird. So, Gore has Earthquake, um, but why have I not... Yeah, he can use Earthquakes. Why did I not get him some Earthquake? So, that's the first one. That's the second page. The third and the fourth one. Wait a minute. Yeah, I, I just haven't seen it. The reason for this is that the view for the abilities is just um, very limited. You can only see six abilities and you have to click yourself through all of that in order to make sense of it. Um, so yeah, elemental infusion. Uh, let's just get rid of this, uh, put this in here. And the elemental infusion goes in there. There we go. Well, actually, another thing I could try is just to get the fire... What other spells does you have? Yeah, I don't really use frost shell at all. So I can just uh, get rid of it anyway. Uh, and just get the earthquake in here. Hmm. But wait a minute. Yeah, it just severely damages all buildings, but how does this one work? Gain ice and da 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 da. The next fire spell is powered up and so on and so forth. So this one upgrades fire and ice spells. Uh, da 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 da. If cast has ice and might, he also regenerates. Yeah, so. 
uh, I can get this one. That would actually kind of make sense. Having Blizzard uh, Elemental Infusion and like, some interaction here, right? This Earthquake, nah, could be anything really. But yeah, I usually just use these free spells anyway, so it's okay. Alrighty, so what about the abilities of Gore? What uh, is so cool about it? Uh, severely damaging, severely damaging, all buildings caught within it. Uh, all buildings, country an earthquake in a large area. Okay. So the difference here is just the uh, area. Yeah. Oh, a long earthquake. Interesting. So the earthquake gets longer and everything. Shapeshifter for the tribe eater. Well, I, the thing is, uh, all of those special abilities and uh, shapeshifting things are kind of cool. Except that you don't really get stronger once you are in the shapeshifting form. You just get different. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's just it. You just end up slightly different so let's just go for the earthquake one why not uh why could just yeah deal more damage with the blizzard uh, anyway let's apply so gore is done um under ghast what about his abilities i could go with hyro for now or better yeah that's just a difference in size there. What What is that one doing? Mm, cooldowns are reduced. No. Costs less focus. Yeah. Cooldown is reduced as well. Uh, and the spell power is increased by 20%. So let's upgrade that one. So what about Rowan? Um, his abilities. Like he already has pretty decent healing. Um, increases block chance by so and so many points. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Spell power. There we go. That's something that we need to upgrade here. Anything else does not really make that much sense, does it? But on the other hand, I wanted Rowan to also have the Earthquake ability just to make things easier on myself. Um, so he is not going for the Blizzard, he's going for the Fire Spark, I would say. Or should I go for Blizzard because it's just so cool? Hmm. Nah, let's go for the fire spark on this guy. Okay, so Rowan, where are your abilities? Wrath of Earth Elements, Restore and Fire Spark. Oh, he only has three, so there's not that much to think about. Same goes for Undergast. Now what about me? Encourage and the rest. Mm. Oh yeah, wait a minute. What about my inventory? Like, I have a nice armor, right? Uh, but uh, could I maybe use another one? Like, this is nine. Nine. Uh, constitution three, constitution six. There we go. The... Yeah, the enchanted split armor, whatever, is not as good as the one I'm wearing uh, right now. It's slightly worse. But in order to get even better stats, I would need even more constitution. So, yeah, that's it. And I also want to upgrade all of that. So, yeah, I do have to get the constitution buff and some strength to make all of that. Or I could just uh, put all of the additional points into intelligence and see what happens. Um, so, let's confirm that one. It's a consumable empowerment. Bam. So, he got the... Ah, okay. So, if you're already maxed out, then you can't improve that for the points that much. Interesting. So, we're going for additional constitution, just so we don't die. Too bad, too bad, too bad. Now, what is he usually going to summon? Should he go for walking corpses, or was he a, a frost nova kind of dude? Yeah, far and over, that's the one. Too much standing around. Alright, now what about the ability points? Mm. 
Increase its production speed? Sure. Like, this is just such a nice boost. That's not really that important, um, because you don't use focus points on so and so many units. It's just the health regeneration that's good for the for that. Uh, I just want to upgrade the call of the Forsaken. I don't really care that much about this stuff. Enemies attacking you all weekend. Well, uh, you get a permanent heal over time effect. Oh. That's neat. Um, hmm. The Unholy Totem would be good, though. Uh, yeah, all of those abilities would be good, though. But yeah, uh, we're going for a stronger ability that I use more often, uh, just in case. Nice. So, uh, where am I? Sure. Over here, let's just summon one of our little zombies. Let's see, do they look different? Um, yep, they are really different. Uh, now they have those ooh, two handers in hand. Nice. They're they're really look at this. Uh, Pierce resistance ninety nine percent, and they are immune to black resist. What the hell? Like these, you and they deal siege damage. The level three of the zombies is absolutely insane. One squad is an. It, they are basically boss monsters. Little, look at this. They cannot be killed. Also, this dude does pure damage. Pure damage. Like what? the hell is going on with these creatures like you have siege damage you have uh, whatever blunt damage like this dude is not getting killed because of the decaying what what is it even doing explodes on death nice increases all resist ah that's the reason why um so if i oh they're also faster very nice so normally they're still immune okay this dude would be immune this guy is also immune uh, uh, the white resistance, look at that. He gets closer, the bonus comes up, and okay, slight light. Very interesting. Very interesting. Apply armor to all allied undead. Ah, all allied undead nearby enemy. Uh, what's it called? Da, 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 da. Deal more damage against bleeding targets. Ooh. That's also a presence of the Forsaken. Really cool. So, as long as they make them bleed, then they are down in an instant. This one does siege damage. This one is just so mean. And this one is doing pure damage. The Undead Crusher. Yeah. Unbelievable. Okay, that was definitely a very good investment when it comes to points. But, uh, but yeah, if you have uh, multiple black magic uh, users, then you can make your own little army with those skeletons. And they're all level 3, and then you can just crush everything. That's absolutely insane. Wait a minute. Um, let me just save right here, just in case. Bam. Alright. So... Let's go back to Muladir. Now that we have the orgs with all of the upgrades and stuff. Well, not all of the upgrades. There's still two things missing. Uh, it's the um, fortification level 3 and the titan. Other than that, we are pretty good to go with the orgs. Also, sadly, I haven't even tested the fire f uh, raining from the sky. Fire wielders are now reinforced. Not just them, also combined with the Ash Raiders. Mm. 
Nice, 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 nice. Uh, goblin scoundrel. Hmm. So where am I? Um, yes. I'm just spawning willy nilly in the uh, orc area, I believe. Yeah, just willy nilly. But it's more scoundrel-ish area. Is there anything else in here? Yeah. Is that really orc area? No, this is the orc area. Wait. The whole western segment is orcs. Ah, okay. Now I get it. Now I get it. Okay, do I have anything uh, in here that's finished? One, three, da, da, da. There's always one or two missing. One missing here, two of them here, two of them here, one missing here, two of them here, one missing here, one missing here, two of them. Hmm. Uh, talk with anger, yeah. Uh, at the end, next one is going to be the more here elves, which is these guys over there. But before I do anything of that, I'm gonna do some more upgrades for the uh, for the characters in here, so that I can continue uh, the mission as a mission and not have too much unnecessary. Uh, well, it's not really unnecessary, but uh, it's just that I really like to think about the build, and it's not what most people like to see. <laughs> so yeah, let's put it just on the end of the episode. So for anyone else that's uh, somewhat interested, the uh, more here elves will come in the next episode, and I'm just doing some character upgrades right now, so just so you know. Okay. Mm. This is some ability point. Oh, by the way, also like and subscribe. Let's keep the uh, ending somewhere in the middle. <laughs> um, yeah, what was I? Yuria, 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 Yuria. What am I gonna do with you? I want her crit rate to be high. Like I, I want her to be somewhat useful, but she's gonna be some kind of a magical-ish uh, user here. Like she uses the bow and she uses uh, the heal. The idea is for her to get the focus from bow attacks, so this one has to be maxed out. But at the same time, yeah, healing is maxed out, this is maxed out. There's no need for her to have any other abilities, right? What what abilities does she have? Uh, resurrection, Restoration and the Arrow of Light, because we have no idea why. Just this little side ability. Two seconds, two seconds, cooldown, five seconds, cooldown, four seconds? Interesting. Damage target, da 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 da. Uh, yeah, this one is just dependent on the weapon and it deals increased damage if the enemy is at full health, so. And this one has additional heal on top of that, so. It's just that she needs an awful lot of intelligence for this to be really good. What about your crit chance? It's 23. No, then it would be 26. So every four attacks, she does at least one crit, which is pretty decent. It is basically four attacks right now. So do we have a better... Do we have a better bow for her somewhere? No. It's either white damage or... That's interesting. The glistening bow and the flaming bow, they basically behave the same, except that the flaming bow does more crit, has a lower base damage. So there's kind of a trade-off there, but it has higher attack speed. Very interesting. And then you have basically half the base damage, but an additional 50% against wildlife, for whatever reason. The requirements are the same, but it makes no sense to get this wildlife bow. At least if you don't have any alternatives. Interesting. There's the blood spiller. Yeah, I got the orcs. 
they always lower the base damage just so you can deal more damage against a certain kind of enemy but at the same time they also at least for this one here they increase the attack speed so there's a strange kind of trade-off that happens all the time and it's an extremely annoying because in the end it doesn't really matter what you pick because the bow is overall the same uh yeah they're all kind of the same the only real difference is the kind of damage you do and the bonus effect that's there so and in this case go for elemental stuff because this one limits you just uh, for special or limits you to fight against special enemies anyway So, yeah, let's just get more focus generation. Nah. Let's get more crit. Let's increase our crit. Let's make her more deadly in the combat. Then... Oh, bollocks. I'm so stupid. Ah, oh, this one was a... This is such a death spot. I'm looking right here, and this just... Pff, this icon is so far away from everything. You don't really notice it. Alright. Mm. So, I want to have him also have some earthquake stuff in there, but at the same time. What are his resistances? They're pretty decent. They go up by another 2% on this one. Yeah, a little bit more health, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, his constitution is already pretty much maxed out. Huh, the teleport, oh yeah, taunt and teleport, that's just great. Alright, so should I get 5% additional health? Um, that means 25 health, basically. Uh, and this uh, increased resistance by 2%. Hmm. Increased resistance by 2%. Oh, oh, ah, no, I get it. So, the uh, increased maximum health and the increase in resistance work the same. So, if this one increases by 2%, or let's say if this one increases by 5%, let's just pick some random numbers. If this one increases by 5%, and this one also increases by 5%, it has the same overall effect. Um... Because let's say your maximum health is at 100. That means you can sustain damage of 100 points. And if your uh, health increases by 5%, that means you end up with 105 health points. Whereas this one here increases resistance. Uh, that means the... Uh, actually, no, it's slightly different. Um, resistance lowers the enemy damage. Overall, it kind of increases the effective health, uh, if you could think about it, but uses another kind of formula. Um, but yeah, the uh, resistance works uh, in a way that it reduces the amount of damage uh, you take. So if the enemy does 100 damage uh, and you have, let's say, 5% resistance, they only deal 95 uh, damage. Meaning that in the end uh, they have to hit you once for with their 100 damage which gets reduced you end up with another another five which uh, basically counts as 105 ish effective hell um, it might be it might be it maybe uh, it's even higher than that But yeah, uh, the end result is if you have 105 health points, then uh, and an enemy attacks you with only 100 damage, then 
the enemy has to attack you twice. <laughs> so that's the same. Or maybe if you have... 100% resistance means full immunity to all of that. But in this case, uh, the resistance reduces the enemy damage. Therefore, the effective increase in health is dependent on the enemy damage. So if the enemy damage is not that high, maximum health might be better. If the enemy damage is high, resistance gets more favorable. It's just that. Okay, let's let's just pick that uh, and continue. Let's not uh, draw it out for far too long, because I already chose what kind of abilities I wanted, and yeah, I already kind of chose that. Um, I'm still additional damage, yeah, against knockdown enemies, yada yada yada. No one cares. Focus regeneration when you are below. Okay, this is a perk. Perks are always great. But increase auto attacks by another four percent. Get a chance to flick bleeding. I uh, get a chance to flick bleeding and impaired on every auto attack. Mm. And so I creates additional smaller whirlwinds. Da 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 da. In the vicinity, like smaller whirlwinds, they do those smaller whirlwinds also inflict bleed or not? Dual wielding is nice, but not if. Yeah, it does not really happen all the time that you end up with uh, multiple enemies to hit. But just the uh, base damage. Uh, yeah, the base damage increase is pretty sweet, like 4%. In this case, it's roughly half of that, so 2%. Uh, so it's an increase of two or maybe three damage points here. So it's a 70 and 75 or something like that. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, inflicting bleed might be good because bleed just does more damage and that's cool. So, and we don't have to manage additional abilities because we are upgrading them. So, goal was already done for Uram. What am I going to do with you? Uh, target a silence and explode some death. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, I don't really care about the death now. Like, don't like it. Um, and said the auto attacks inflict pure damage. Okay, that's good. I can just go with the same build as Yana. They are just the same, but we go for more pure damage. So, Anger, Arendair. Anger, Anger, Anger. Deal massive damage to buildings with rays. Okay, what about this stuff? Um, apply stunned with every order attack. Temporarily apply stunned and hit multiple enemies with every order attack. Yeah, that's kind of cool. The health regeneration is sweet. Like, this whole tree is just amazing. But why don't we just go with Raze and deal tons of damage? <laughs> to all buildings in the straight line, so you can just... ...destroy everything. So, let's go for Raze, uh, and give this Arendir dude... Arendir, there we go. Um, some Aura, some Aura, an ability. Aura, Aura, uh, another kind of Aura. Well, not really an Aura, more like... It doesn't have to cast it, it's just active all the time. That's just very convenient. So depending on the situation, yeah. Depending on the situation, you can just uh, switch whatever you need. So this one goes on to number three over here. Very nice. So the aura is always there, uh, and I'm gonna just switch the abilities around as I need. Wait a minute. Um, so, which setup would be the most convenient all the time? I'm switching between one and two most often, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, Onslaught is not that important, I would say, but... Okay, and race is just situational. So we pretty much got it. 
these upgrades didn't really happen. The great sword. What's the difference? Uh, your, uh, your auto attacks have a thirty percent chance to ignore your target's armor. Okay. Leech twenty five percent of your life. Okay. Oh, the bonus damage. Oh, 170, 180. Jesus Christ. Ah, okay. So the difference in here um, is also in relation to the block chance and the attack speed. So one of it has higher attack speed, which means the damage over time might be... Yeah, on the Vampiric Axe, it's still greater. And it also has life leech, which might be very convenient. Don't quite know which to pick. But this one-handed sword here, the snake thingy, might be also pretty sweet. This one uses dexterity, though. Can't use it. Uh, Gore might be able to. Ooh, yes. No. Uh, but he won't. Because the attack speed is similar. The DPS is even lower. The chance to stun might not even be that favorable. Look at that. The base damage is absolutely horrendous. This one, extremely low. This one, extremely low. It's just that the crit rate on both of those weapons is decent. What was it? The crit rate is always uh, the in-between value, like the, 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 the average value. Like This is 2, this is 0, so it's 1. Uh, so it would be good to have crit chances that are equal, so you don't waste the potential of a weapon by having another weapon that is worse. Like you can, yeah, you can really see it two ways. Like either it lowers it or it increases it. Um, but this one is just much better this way with the fire and black damage additional type. Oh, but yeah, bleeding, bleeding might be a good one because bleeding does at least deal bonus damage. Not different damage, but bonus damage altogether. So, what about Yana? Mm. Ah, and also, uh, what I need to do is focus on a very specific build for the characters. Like this one, uh, for example, has attack speed and life leech. So, it would be preferable to have life leech weapons with attack speed as well like let's say there we go the vampiric great axe is a good choice for that i don't know if there are others that give you life leech like that i don't think so yeah not in the blues anyway yeah this is the only life leech weapon uh the other one might be to just choose a weapon that's extremely quick like this one, the dagger, for example, has 0.53. So the quicker the weapon is, the more often it can strike. And this one just deals more bleed damage. I just don't know how the bleed damage is calculated. It might be in the glossary somewhere. Um, glossary, it might be game mechanics, uh, damage or something like that. Leveling, blueprints, abilities, uh, revive status, status effects. Yeah. Bleeding, uh, deal pure damage over time, but nothing too special. She's ready to fire. Yeah, the catapult again. Among the many tools of war available to humans, the catapult is one of the most essential siege weapons. Through human engineering, catapults are light enough to only require two soldiers to move onto the battlefield. The first use of catapults can be traced back to the early days of the Great Houses, where their addition to the battlefield made a dramatic difference in the outcome of the battle. Following that first occurrence, an arms race grew between the houses for most powerful catapults, as well as taller and stronger walls, until they finally settled on the catapult that we know today. So, the highest wall that can be built without uh, falling down on its own weight has to defend against a catapult that has a certain height <laughs> uh, 
that would otherwise yeah the, the maximum height that you, you can move around comfortably because if it's larger it also is heavier meaning that it uh, moves slower uh, because it also has to kind of move the uh, yeah the the, the, the uh, what uh, whatever the thing is that you want to throw it could be a stone uh, the projector it could be a flaming stone it could be cow heads even they did this in order to well spread disease uh, inside castles it's a very horrendous kind of way but anyway so uh, we did some nice upgrades and the next one will be with the more here elves and iana and the land like and subscribe as i said <laughs> Ta -da.